Hello, my name is DJ Cole. I'm a technical marketing engineer at Cisco. I'm here to give you a brief overview of the Cisco Catalyst IW9165E wireless client and access point. Now, before I begin, I'd like to mention this is only part of our Cisco Catalyst IW9160 family of access points. We also have the IW9167E access point and the IW9165D access point. So be sure to check those out as well. Now, what makes the IW9165E wireless client and access point unique? Well, this is actually Cisco's first purpose-built industrial wireless client. And what do I mean by wireless client? Wireless client is a device that allows you to connect wired devices or a collection of wired devices behind a switch to your wireless network. We actually support two different technologies on this device to allow you to do that. In the first technology called Workgroup Bridge, or WGB for short, we allow you to connect those wired devices to a traditional Wi-Fi network, either a Cisco Wi-Fi network or a third-party Wi-Fi network. In the second mode of operation called Cisco Ultra Reliable Wireless Backhaul, or CURB for short, we allow you to extend your wired network to either remote or mobile assets in operational or mission critical use cases that require lower latency or higher reliability than you can get with traditional Wi-Fi. Now, let's take a closer look at the device. The wireless client has an IP30 rated case and two 802.11ax radios that support operation up to 2x2 with two spatial streams each. All of the connectors that you need during normal operation of the wireless client are conveniently located on the front face. Let's take a look at those. First, you'll notice two RJ45 Ethernet ports. This Ethernet port here supports operation up to 1 gigabit per second, while this port in the center supports operation up to 2.5 gigabits per second. This port also allows for PoE input to the wireless client. In addition to PoE, you can also power the wireless client using DC power with this 4-pin microfit connector with voltages from 24 to 48 volts. Next to the DC input connector is the GPIO connector. This wireless client has one input and one output for connection to external systems. This wireless client also has a built-in GNSS receiver. You can connect an external GNSS antenna to the wireless client using this port to enable location services. As I mentioned, the wireless client has two radios. Each of those two radios has two antenna ports each. This radio, radio number one, supports operation in the 5 GHz band while radio number 2 supports operation in both the 5 and 6 GHz band, depending on the local regulations. Now, let's take a look at the side of the wireless client. On this side, you have an RJ45 console port and a reset button to reset the wireless client back to defaults. On the back of the wireless client, you have four holes for mounting. I'll talk about the mounting options in just a second. And on the last side of the wireless client, you have grounding lugs to ground the wireless client. On the bottom of the wireless client, you have additional holes for mounting, and I'll talk about those options. There are two options to mount the wireless client. The first is through the use of a DIN rail adapter. DIN rail is commonly used in industrial settings to use to mount equipment. When using the DIN rail adapter, you can actually mount the wireless client in four different orientations. When using the DIN rail adapter on the back of the wireless client, you can use it standing off the DIN rail in both the vertical and horizontal orientation. When using the DIN rail adapter and mounting it on the bottom of the wireless client, you can mount the wireless client flat against the DIN rail with either the ports facing down or the ports facing up. The second option for mounting the wireless client is to the use of the mounting ears. The mounting ears attach to the bottom of the wireless client and can be used to mount the wireless client to any flat surface. With that, I'd like to thank you for watching this overview of the IW9165E wireless client and access point. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us. Thank you, and I hope that you have a great day.